Marcellus, I'll start with you. Is the MVP race over? No, it's not over. And you got the Vegas hangover. Boy, what <laughs> happened to you this weekend? What you do? Had that long weekend because we were off for Friday. Uh, and you, the journalist, has uh, lost all his journalistic integrity when you're talking about this conversation. I've noticed you over the last couple of weeks do what most people are doing right now, which is because Patrick Mahomes was the front runner, because Patrick Mahomes jumped out to this huge lead, almost lapped the field, that now you got bored with that story. No. So now you're starting to poke <laughs> holes at that same story. It happens in so many facets of life. We start to attack who's at the top. And we're now rooting for Drew Brees, who in a vacuum is having an amazing season. I will say, I will preface, he's having an amazing season. But the renaissance of the New Orleans Saints and even Drew Brees these last couple of years didn't start with Drew Brees. It started with the running game. How did they also emerge as now this contending team putting up all these points? It's because they're asking less of Drew Brees. You're talking about completion percentage and you're talking about interceptions. You don't want to talk about touchdowns and yards, which every quarterback raises their hands first to say, I want to lead the league in those categories. They're having Drew Brees go out there and give them fewer attempts. They're asking Drew Brees right now, if he stays on pace, this is going to be his eighth, eighth best season in terms of yardage per game. You know what that means? Less is more. Less of Drew Brees <laughs> is more for the Saints. And that is not an MVP definition. An MVP definition is it starts and stops with you. That's Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City.